Hi guys, Life of an Englishman here. And, uh, well, you can probably guess I've been in a town. <laughs> well, earlier today I went into town. It's now, uh, da -da 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 -da, what is it now? 20 past 11 almost at night. Anyway, before I get into that, and while I've got the camera in my hand, I actually wasn't going to bother with this today because I thought, why rush when even when I, you know, I'll start again. Why rush when I don't actually sell any bikes until the weekends anyway? Even if I listed it up for sale today, I would probably have barely got any interest until like Thursday, Friday. I don't know why, but it's happened every time um, but I did in the end um, basically it's done in the sense that it's all put together apart from a pair of pedals uh, so all I've got to do is take it downstairs and just tune it up and make sure it's all set up etc etc I don't know why I changed my mind, like I said I wasn't going to bother, but at least that one's nearly done and I could actually make a start on another one. I've got a heart burn, hang on a minute. Hmm. Might do. So I can start on that black one, maybe. If QDs have put any more paint out, because they sell that stuff like hotcakes, but uh, at 99p a tin, I am not surprised. It's meant to be the same size tin as um, the more expensive Holtz spray or something. It's not like 550ml cans. These 99p ones are not 550ml cans. I mean they're about that size. Maybe a little bit taller. Holtz cans are wider. Anyway, the other thing I got, as my cordless phones were dying, well, one had died and the other one was on its way out, I went to my junk shop and uh, coincidentally they had a couple of um, just bog standard old fashioned style telephones. So <laughs> I hung this one up on the wall and we just, uh, I got to adjust the screws, although I may change the phone anyway, but it's got a nice little LED there, look. Nice big handset. <laughs> I can store numbers on it. I can turn the ringer on or off. I don't know what the pause button's for. I have to do something with that bloody cable. But I need. If I keep that one up there, I've got to adjust the screws because it's a bit loose. Every time I take the receiver off, it wants to take the whole base off the wall. Yeah. But I did get another landline, which is in here, and. Uh, yeah, and Nemo's collie wogged that box as well now. <laughs> but, uh, here's the other one. Which uh, did have four AA batteries in. Probably, I don't know what that was for. Probably for the memory feature. There are three selector switches on the bottom here. Don't worry, I have got that cable. Um, I've got the option to hang this on the wall as well, which it may actually hang straight on them screws, because I think that spacing is uh, exactly the same. So I may give this one a whirl and see which one I prefer. That's ringer in the middle mode. Oh, ringer. Is that the type of ringer? And ringer volume. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh I can select my ringer on this one. BT Decor, yeah, the cable for this I think is underneath Nemo, but I'm not going to disturb him. Um, I couldn't resist. It's quite a nice little decorative light, isn't it? I was thinking of putting it up in the hallway in place of those spotlights, but uh, I don't think it's going to be very bright. This would be the sort of light I'd want to modify and perhaps hang underneath a shelf or something. 
But yeah, there's the uh, there's the cable underneath Nemo for that phone. So when he moves later, or when I move him, or maybe tomorrow, I'll change the telephone over and uh, and uh, see which one I like. Because that one hasn't got a very loud ringer on it either. That's well, quite a retro looking phone, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I went into the Catali shop as well and got some CDs. Running Tracks by Ministry of Sound. Um, the Workout Mix 2013. And the Workout Mix, our greatest team for um, the um, Olympics 2012. Whoops. And I swear I saw Nemo behind me before I stumbled over a plug. Right. Also, from a charity shop, from the Salvation Army shop, I've got these from Lidl's, by the way, but I'll do those last. I've got two of these, wireless adapters. This one is a new link, and... Uh, as it seems to be like a cheapy version of one They're actually, well I say cheapy, according to that, that cost uh, 19 95 when it was new and it's only 54 megabytes per second I think that comes up but the my phone's not on the hook properly, hang on <laughs> that worked <laughs> File. Come here, you bugger. There we go. I've got it off now. Anyway, yeah. Um, I wasn't going to get this one. I was going to go and just stick with the uh, TP-Link one because I like to have like a couple of these. Hanging around just in case, because should a wireless card fail on a laptop, I've got an option here, haven't I? But then I read the specs. That one starts from the TP-Link. I think it's Windows XP. No, it was Windows 2000. This one's actually faster as well. 300 megabytes per second. Operating, yeah, Windows 2000, XP 32 and 64 bit, Vista 32 and 64 bit, and Windows 7 32 and 64 bit. But this one goes right back to Windows 98. Just to say on the back here somewhere driver support, Windows 98 SE 2000 ME or XP. So I can play with my um, my um, Windows 98 and 2000 laptops with that. Of course, I can use them on desktops as well. It's not just restricted to um, laptops. Back in the day when. Um, Wi-Fi cards were not installed on laptops. You know, pre-built in like they are nowadays. So, uh, yeah, three pounds each they cost me. I didn't mind that, you know. It goes to charity at the end of the day, so... Uh, should we have a look at them? I wasn't going to, but... I've already had a look at them, so I know what's inside them. So I'll put you there. My battery shouldn't randomly die on us because uh, they're brand new. I've just put them in. Freshly charged, I should say, not brand new. Anyway, all you get in here is one installation disc, one device. So that is it. Uh, and an extra bit of cardboard to what I've got all that. I don't know. I don't know if there was any, pa probably some paperwork went in there. That's all it is. It's quite a nice uh, sort of see-through green colour. It's 
got a light LED light on it that says link beside it. Let's take the dust cover off. Surprised the dust cover hasn't been lost. They usually do get lost. Yeah, that's that one. Take it. Might as well keep them in their boxes. Oh, there's one more thing that I forgot. What do we got? Here we go. We'll find the um there it is. See so this one's got an even smaller disc. It's got like a mini C D, mini disc thing, I can't remember what they call them now. This is basically a small C D. Uh, it's also got lots of uh, paperwork and things with it. quick installation guide and uh, there's the device and the dust cover does whoops the dust cover does seem to be missing now this is buried in here but it's got this uh, nice little foam insert that goes in this cardboard just like that no, there's nothing else so the uh, dust cover is definitely missing. I don't care because I would have probably lost it anyway. So that just lays in there. I think these are actually meant to go underneath it, but oh well. Pack it all away. So that's that. Might as well store them in the boxes. They'll probably be worth a lot of money one day in the future. <laughs> anyway, I found this as well in the Katali shop. It is a data switch, data transfer switch. I have still got the box somewhere around here, but there was no paperwork or anything in the box. I've got no idea how you use it because apparently it allows two computers to use the same peripheral. Or well, suppose you could do it the other way, you know, one computer with two different peripherals. You just switch between the two. But uh, I don't know what peripherals would use uh, VGA connectors. <laughs> Unless there's some sort of adapter you could get back in the day. That is literally all it is. One of, I will open this up in a video, I think. But I'm not actually expecting to find a lot inside there. pound fifty. But uh, I thought, as it's a bit of old technology that's uh, obsolete these days, it was worth saving. So I bought that for my specific, my personal collection, not my specific collection. Right, I got these at Lidl's today. I just called an LED light set. And on the back, it's got written "Enjoy nature, ideal for recreation, camping, and outdoors." One red and one white light, each with two LEDs for extra brightness. Three functions: constant flashing, interval flashing. <coughs> Pardon me. Simple, quick attachment, up to 160 hours lighting time in interval mode. Three-year warranty includes batteries not authorised for bicycle lighting. Use only as recommended. Not suitable for household room lighting. Observe national regulations for road traffic use. Well, they're exactly the same as the ones that are authorised for a bicycle, so I'm just guessing they're covering their butts because they haven't had them authorised. Right, I'm going to get them off the bloody card now. We've got the instructions in here. Oh, some paperwork which is held on with two zip ties. 
Lidl's have got loads of these and they do them in various colour combinations as well. I saw blue and pink, green and orange, red and white. Red and white just seems too common to me. That's the only colour Roy's um, does. Ah, that's why these ones do not work. I just figured that. They've got the um, full tabs. So, as I've got shitloads of these in, whoops, I said I swear, I shouldn't say swears on the um, YouTube now, should I? As Lidl have loads of these in, I might see what colours they've got left Thursday and get another couple, because these are really handy. Whoa! Gee! That's a bit bright. Oh, I like that flash. I might have to get another couple of pairs of these Thursday. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's a very slight blue tint to that. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but that's not... That's not a full, proper white. I'm not going to do that too much in case anyone with epilepsy is watching this or comes across it, because... Uh, that is quite trippy, that um, fast flash, isn't it? There we go. American ambulance and fire truck colours. <laughs> oh, that has actually given me an idea. I might see how many pairs of these I can buy. <laughs> Well, they're bright. The plastic doesn't feel any different to the 199 ones you used to be able to get. These were 299, by the way, for a pair. But, uh, yeah, the quality doesn't feel any different to any of the other ones I've ever had. Different shape. Yeah, you can change the batteries and they will take two CR2032s if memory serves correctly. It's pretty that I don't do these with blue LEDs in because that would actually be quite smart. <laughs> with that sort of strobing effect. Now what I need to do is make a bar that I could mount at least four of these on and then mount to the front of a bicycle. <laughs> Here's the colour of what a lot of, uh, well from what I've seen on YouTube, a lot of American fire trucks and ambulances have. Red and white. nice pair, I do like these. And again, it actually shows you on here, you know, they've got a couple of examples on the pictures, like a little, uh, you know, backpack, hiking stick there, or a walking stick. You could put them on a mobility scooter, push chair. You know, if you're walking along, you know, if you over here and you live in the bloody countryside, there's a chance you could end up walking on a dark country road. Especially now that the nights are pulling in, so... You could, like, clip a, one on the front of your baby stroller and one on the back. Just for a bit of, you know, visibility so cars know you're there. Obviously red one to the rear, white one to the front. I don't know if you could... Hmm, that's not bad to see by. It would be better than nothing, but not brilliant. <laughs> that is... The only thing I don't like about this one is... Uh, that white is... It's a weird white. 
it's got that blue tint, almost like a UV tint to it. And yeah, I don't like that. But other than that, I'm happy with those. There's another two to my collection. I don't know how many of these rubbery lights I've got now, but... LED Belustenscheck. I don't speak German, so I ain't got a clue how to pronounce that. <laughs> Vonang. I don't think I was far off from that one. Oh, immediately, immediately remove drained batteries from the product. Otherwise, there is an increased risk of leaking. Always replace all the batteries at the same time. Check regularly that the batteries are not leaking. I've never seen a CR2032 leak, but I suppose anything is possible. Actually, yes, I have once. Leaking or damaged batteries may result in burns upon contact with the skin. Or always wear suitable safety gloves. Remove batteries during extended periods of non-use. When inserting the battery, ensure it is inserted the right way round. This is indicated inside the battery cover. Batteries may otherwise explode. The English isn't too bad. I've seen worse. Or read worse. <laughs> I should say. Mine's not much better, as you can tell. Do not exert mechanical loads to batteries. I presume that means things like motors. Avoid contact with the skin, eyes and mucous membranes. How the fuck are you going to get contact with the mucous membrane unless you swallow the bad things? In the event of contact with battery acid, thoroughly flush the affected area with clean water and seek immediate medical attention. Avoid extreme environmental conditions and temperatures, e.g. above radiators, as they may affect batteries. Yes. That's one advantage I've got to keep my bikes locked in a shed. It's at least drier and not directly in the elements during winter and whatnot. <laughs> I can't believe that they actually have to give installation instructions. Changing the batteries, yeah, I can understand that. But this has actually got installation instructions and even switching the light on and off instructions. Really, we just press the fucking button on the top there. Oh well. I suppose if they do that, yeah, then they've got their own ass covered, haven't they? Many congratulations on the purchase of your new appliance. That's an appliance? Okay. You have selected a high quality product. Oh, there's a full stop there, I didn't see that. Oops. The operating instructions are to be considered as part of this appliance. They contain important information about safety, use and disposal. Before using the product, please familiarise yourself with all the safety information and instructions for use. Use the product only as described and for the indicated purpose. If you pass the appliance on to anyone else, please ensure that you also pass on the documentation. Nah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Ow, that was my knee on the computer. <laughs> Oh, that's the one bad design with this desk. There's not a lot of knee room. 
Not when you've got a computer case which is deep like mine. It'd be alright if it was the older style, you know, slimline case, where they weren't as deep. But uh, that isn't. I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Not unless I completely turn the PC around. So that panel, the side panel faces me. I could do that, I suppose. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Hmm. I'm not going to do that now, though. Twat. I don't believe I just thought that. Oh. There's a little red circle on my LCD screen that flashes on and off so I know it's recording. And I thought it was the fucking LED right there on the computer because that's red as well. <coughs> and for a second there, my brain actually thought that the dot on the screen was actually, actually, you know, flashing off screen. Or the LED was flashing off screen. It just didn't... I know what I mean. I don't think you know what I mean, but I know what I mean. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. Um, I'm going to have a box of bike parts to sort. Uh, at some point, I'm not in a hurry to do that though. Uh, I think I've got room on the landing to put this bike when it's done. Probably there. Probably won't list it until Thursday. Uh, well, at least that tube has stayed up that I put in the back wheel. I just got to hope the uh, chain, it had a few sticky spots in it, so I'm hoping the WD-40 is soaked in and it'll free off when I start riding it around. And when I start shifting it through the gears, because like I said, I haven't... Uh, I haven't tried any of the gears, and I know the brakes still need a bit of work, especially that rear one, because it sticks. Well, it doesn't stick, it's sort of... I think I've chosen some crappy brake blocks, because they sort of rub even when the brake is uh, really loose. Oh yeah, and I wish I had the camera on. I'd put both brake levers on, the gear shifters and the handlebar grips and had to take the whole lot off again because I'd put these on round the wrong way. <laughs> I'd put this one on that side which meant the screw which should be underneath the lever here was actually on top. Mm. Pardon me. And I didn't realise until afterwards. <laughs> so I had to take the whole damn lot apart. But, uh, might get some super glue and put down there just to glue them on. But, uh, yeah, like I said, no pedals. I've got to put some pedals on it. You could do with a slightly better back tyre on it, but that'll do. Wheels in there a lot straighter than it was as well. I've got an inner tube here, that's stayed up, that's alright then, so I need another one of those for the other bike. Well, I've got the bag in here, so I might grab a couple before I go to bed, pump them up and uh, see what's still inflated in the morning. I've got that seat post posted, but I haven't done those rod brakes yet, because uh, I needed some cardboard. <laughs> Which I've now got in the bedroom that the cat's sleeping in. <laughs> he won't be sleep I don't know why he usually sleeps in this one. But he's decided to pinch that one from me. Okay. I think I've got enough wheel axles and quickly skewers and things in here. I think have I got a wheel up? Oh no, I've got a front disc braked wheel that needs a axle fit. Oh, my dad, I've got one in there somewhere. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'll soak that in WD-40 overnight and see if I can free it off.
That'll do. And there was a wasp buzzing around in here, but as soon as I picked up that spray, he disappeared. And that was about an hour ago, way before I picked up the camera. But yeah, he's disappeared now, and I don't know where he went. Why? But I've been getting at least one wasp a night, almost one wasp per night in this flat. Cool. Maybe was gonna stink at WD-40 now. Hi. Are my spidey friends still up here? Wrong side. <laughs> I was looking for the light switch and I was looking on the wrong side. Oh, he's moved. There was a little one up there, but he seems to... Well, there's the harvest spider. I don't know if you can see. You might see the dot. But there's a different one up this corner as well. He has caught a fly in the web. There he is. He's come all the way over here. Okay, it could have been him because there's one right there. I've got a big blob of black shit hanging out from there. Because for some reason, well actually I know why the council didn't put it up, because right up against the wall, because of that. If it was me, I'd have stuck it right up against the wall and had the cupboard door open the other way, but... Perhaps they thought they'd do it that way. Because you can actually get to the cupboard easier, can't you? Duh. <laughs> Jeez, there's some bleeding cobwebs up. Ugh. That is nasty. Where's my broom? Sorry, but anything with eight legs living up there is now getting evicted. There is actually a harvest spider up there, and he's now getting get pissed off. Sorry, boys. I'm going to leave him there and the other one. I must have scared the other one off because um, he's disappeared. But there's nothing in the cobwebs up that corner. Cheeky little bastard. I can see a fly from here, just sitting on the wall. Not anymore. <laughs> Bruh, I really do hate flies. It's been sitting on my microwave for ages, I've forgotten it was up. Oh, it still works as well. I'll call that quits then. Must have developed a rather large rattle as well. Turn that off. Well. Mum um, hadn't phoned me, so I don't she will now. Hmm. Might l have a listen to that Ministry of Sound CD for a little while before I go to bed. I'm not actually that tired yet. I usually am getting tired by now. But anyway, I'm going to stop me rambling and I'm going to uh, shut down. So, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you all again at some point tomorrow. Bye!